I'm going to call Rocky Marciano up here on the stage. Rocky, come on up here. Come on up here, champion. Rocky, it's awfully nice to see you again. Thank you very, very much. That was really a surprise when they pulled on me there because I didn't know they had known about it and I didn't tell them. Rocky, I know you've just been to a party tonight, but I did want to talk to you something about your fight plans because now you've apparently run out of uh, opposition. Where are you going to get somebody else to fight? Gee, Ed, I really don't know. Uh, Mr. Al Weil is with me tonight, and he probably has an opponent lined up for me because he doesn't give me too much time to rest in between fights. Well, I got a gag today in the column. Somebody sent in, they said, your career proves that where there's a while, there's a way. <laughs> I saw Charlie Goldman the other night with Al over 21, and I told Charlie and Al that I've never seen in all of my experience as a sports writer, any fighter in greater condition than you were, because at the, in the 11th round, you were traveling faster and throwing punches harder and more furiously than you were at the start. So you certainly are a physical marvel. I got a great kick out of the fight. I read a lot of the reports. They said they thought you were very wild in the early rounds, and I read that you yourself had said that. Well, what was that caused by? That I really don't know. I, I think I was a little over-anxious. I had fought this boy three and a half years ago, and it was my, my bad fight. The people back home thought that, I guess they thought this boy had it uh, over me, and I was a little over-anxious. I wanted to try to get him out of there a little too quick. You are going to prove, prove to your own satisfaction. <laughs> you know, one night on the show, when he first came up, I was the first one who ever thought that he, at his weight and height, could become heavyweight champion, because I said Dempsey's greatest fighting weight was about 185. You remember we took off our coats and we compared arms just take off your coat there, boy. <laughs> I want to show you that up in Porchester High School, I used to be known as a killer dealer. <laughs> Come on, get it up. Either one, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm just as puny right or left. <laughs> Hold your arm up there. There. <laughs> the only thing thing that kept me out of the heavyweight championship of the world, that and the complete lack of courage and talent. 